What's happening, people? Today we are here with Pokemon Uranium. From the previous episode, we are preparing for the team uh, for the Tinder Championship, and I was not playing games. So Metalynx, he has the you know the right stats and uh, nature, and basically the right moveset to take on this uh, championship. I mean this tournament. I have Home Claws and Iron Tail. I wanted to switch it up for Mirror Mash and Source Dance, but um, honestly, I believe Source Dance is more viable. In combination with mirror match, mirror match, then home claws and iron tail. But um, <sighs> I'm not sure. I feel like that is more viable. But the thing is, though, I didn't find sewer dance while I was in Mount Actonite. I believe there is a way to give me it, but I wasn't able to find it because I didn't have the right. I'm not sure. I checked the entire cave. I mean, I could check it back, but for now, we're just gonna run this. We're not gonna waste any more time. Nucleon's has the extra belt. Nucleon is a nuclear type. It doesn't really say that. Oh, it does it. There it is. <laughs> so, yes, nu Nucleon's a nuclear type. It's a, because it's nuclear, most of his moves, well, mostly anything it hits, is going to be taking super effective damage from uh, its nuclear typing. Because nuclear type is super effective against everything except poison and steel. So, the extra belt is perfect for this Pokemon. Uh, allows me to do extra damage. So I'll hope when I attack without the, um, the effects of taking damage from Life Orb. So I have a power up, but uh, it doesn't really affect me. It just benefits me. So that's great. So here's the Life Orb on S51. S51 has Roost. Just because I have Life Orb, I'm a Steel type. I'm going to be switching him, hit him in into some attacks. So he can take those hits. I can Roost off the damage if I start getting too low. Uh, his moveset is pretty balanced. Uh, Focus Blast for coverage because he's a steel and psychic type. He has to hit steel types with something. Focus Blast is that move. He can also hit dark types that are his weakness. He can also hit um, a couple other things in the spectrum that I can't really name off the top of my head, but that's about it. Two stabs, steel and psychic. And yeah, I was gonna run Combine, but like I said, Roost helps him in the longevity of things. Gyarados. So Gyarados has Taunt, Aqua Tail, Earthwork, and Dragon Dance. So this is the same moves that you will see in competitive play sometimes. Uh, you will mostly see um, Waterfall over Aqua Tail because Aqua Tail has a chance to miss. I don't think I have Waterfall yet, which is why I'm not using it. I think I should have it. I think I do. I'll have to check. I will replace it for, for Aqua Tail. Uh, no, I will replace Aqua Tail for Waterfall. If I have it, I'm going to check right now, actually, after this. But uh, he has this is basically a standard move set for Gyarados. Um, it's very viable. Taunt is very viable on Gyarados. Especially Mega Gyarados. Um, this is Luxlong, so Luxlong has coverage, flamethrower, wish for support. Calm Mind, just where I can take boost my special defense and special attack more. Because that's Luxlong's most beneficial stats. That's what makes Luxlong so great. As you can see, the special attack, special defense are his key traits. I can't really boost the HP uh, other than by using Wish. So Combine helps me boost my Luxlong's uh, advantages uh, more greatly. It also helps me sweep sometimes. Helps me sweep. Uh, Moonblast, that's, that's basically a standard attacking move for this Pokemon. I don't need Dragon Pulse because Moonblast kills other dragons and Dragon type attacks are only good against other dragons. So that's what Moonblast does as well. So. Yeah, Moonblast is better, obviously. Also lowers the special attack, I believe, so yeah. Uh, here's Psychic Mare's choice specs. I don't have Quiver Dance on Psychic Mare because obviously Psychic Mare doesn't have... It can't learn Quiver Dance at this level. It learns it at 65 or 675. No, 7, 65. There's 65. Psychic Mare is at level 59. I can learn it soon, but the problem is not yet. I do want to teach Second Man Bug Buzz, but I don't have that move for some reason. So, um, I'm not sure how. No, I believe it's Psycho Man's previous evolution that learns it. But uh, right now, I'm mean, gonna teach my Second Man Civil Wind for the meantime. This isn't such a terrible move. It is weak, but it is still decent. So, because of that choice back, Second Man is gonna be hitting like a truck. It's great. Um, I didn't. I wanted to teach Psychomera Quiver Dance, but Psychomera can't learn it. Not at this stage. Uh, so yeah. 
So Sycamore is basically just a bit of a tank, I would suppose. Uh, Luxlong is a wall. Metalinx is also a tank, but also a wall at the same time. I could, you could say it's a tank, basically. It has Leaf Seed, doesn't have recovery. Uh, walls are Pokemon that have recovery and are fully invested in blocking. Metalinx and Sycamore don't have the best recovery, so they're, they're tanks. Uh, SUV1, uh, basically just an offensive special attacker. Nikulon is the same. Nikulon is, is somewhat of my revenge killer. It isn't, but it is. Um, also very strong. So SUV1 is obviously my special attacker, like I said. Basic special attacker, and Gyarados is my sweeper. So, that's basically the team. Not truly balanced, but I do like it. It is balanced, actually, but uh, it's good. It's good enough. So, after six minutes of explaining, let's begin the Tandoor Championship. So, there's some basic dialogue he explained to us in the previous episode, so now let's begin. Up next, round one Pluto versus Sir Gold's Core. Do I know him? From the Victory Road. He was this guy calling me old champion stuff. Old sport? Yeah. <laughs> he was on the bridge. I remember that. Trent, prepare your teams for battle and report the league. Report to the league attendant when you are ready. Okay. I specialize in the mystery mysteries of mystical po fairy type Pokemon. Soon you'll be under our spell. I doubt it. As a Tico, my Pokemon's fire dance moves will ignite the battlefield. Hi, oh yeah, I have honed in my skills as a surfer and a ninja. We command mis mastery over the waves. I bet you do. Are you ready for the next round? Yes. Very well. Please proceed in the arena. Wow, that's a lot of people. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, people of Tandor. Welcome to the first round of the Pokemon League Tournament. We have some of the Tandor's best and brightest here to dazzle you with their spectacular battling skills. I can feel the anticipation in the air. These trainers have spent their entire lives preparing for this moment. But only one will be crowned a champion today. Who will it be? These trainers, will s these trainers skill and battle will determine that answer. Oh, I'm so excited. I do say, have we perhaps meet before? Yes, we have. I am certain we have. You do leave quite an impression, indeed. However, how, <laughs> indeed, however, let me to reintroduce myself. I am Sir Coldcorn. Goldcorn. I represent a refined style of battle, a tradition which is sadly <laughs> going away. It seems, but I shall prove that refinement still has a place in the arena. Please allow us to have a clean, civil match. The rules of battle will be as follows. No items can be used other than what the Pokemon are already holding. The battle will continue until either trainer's side has no Pokemon left that can fight. If both trainers are ready, then the battle starts. Damn, level 70? That'll do some damage, but not too much. Sorry guys, I'm eating yogurt at the moment. I should be drinking water, that's what I should be doing professionally. <laughs> but I'm no professional YouTuber. I'm not make videos for a crowd of people. I do do I try to do this job as best as I can, but well also I can't really call it a job if I'm not getting paid, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. 
Hero Loom. This Pokemon can kill me in one hit, actually, because it's a flying type. I didn't think he'll have something this strong. Uh, Gyarados is my best option. I can intimidate him. This flying type move won't do shit, at least I resist it. He may have Thunder Punch, though. Oh, I thought he would have close combat, not Drain Punch. If I thought knew he had Drain Punch, I would have stayed in. Also, I can't kill anything in one hit, so I just Aqua Tail. And that's the best move he can hit me with. Why are you switching to Splendiful? Even though these Pokemon are low 70, they're dropping like flies. Er earthquake, buddy. Plus one Earthquake, can I kill you? Yes. Whimsicott. Um, I can't really... Why are you switching this in the first place? I guess he didn't know my moveset. I've actually been getting levels, that's cool. So, SV1 is my best option here. Whoa. I knew it. That was my best play right now. So now, let's flash scan. It won't do much because he obviously lowered my special attack. That won't do much. Yep. I am timid nature. I mean, attack EVs, IVs, and EVs. No, I have no attack IVs. I mean, EVs. Um. So that will do half. How's it? Oh, critical hit. What the? Like, why am I killing these things so easily? That was a crit. My bad, brother. I didn't mean to do that. Because I'm intimidated, I can't really, um... Do much here. Let's intimidate you again. Gareth is really proving a lot right now. He's really doing work. I don't believe that will kill, but it will do magnificent damage. Oh, shit. I'm underestimating my Pokemon. Uh, I'm not sure what to do against you. Foul play. That was the wrong place, sir. Didn't do anything to me. Barely. Dynamic punch. You don't have no guard. That moves accuracy is terrible stuff. That's four times super effective. Stab, you're dead. Oh, that's it. I set. Goodness, that was quite a thorough route. I may require some tea and biscuits after this match. If you like, you would be welcome to join me. What a match. I threw in display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Up next, round two. Blue versus Angelica. Trainers, prepare your teams for battle and report to the Pokemon League attendant when you're ready. I'm gonna use that accent for Tico. I see him right there. I'm gonna use that accent. Wait, do I have to heal my Pokemon? Never good. Let's switch it up to S uh, from Metalinks to uh, Second Man. Are you ready for your next challenge?
folks, we're back with round two. Both of these trainers look, took home a win in the previous round. Their strength is no joke. I can tell that they both are itching for another fight. Well, let's not delay. On with the match. Wow, you look like a really strong trainer. Um, I'm ja Angelica, and I train fairy types. We're cute, but don't let it fool you. We're really strong too. After all, fairies can stand up to the power of dragons, so we aren't afraid of any tough-looking trainers either. If you aren't uh, acquainted with the power of fairies, then you'll know soon enough. The rules of this battle will be as follows: No items may be used, but other than the Pokémon that the <laughs> other than the items your Pokémon are already holding, the battle will continue until either side has no Pokémon left that can fight. If both trainers are ready, then the battle starts. So she's using all fairies. This is fine. Ow. That's not actually gonna hurt. That one's actually decently strong. Oh, never mind. Oh, it did a chunk. I kinda call my second mirror a tank. But honestly, eh. I guess you're just a, a wall breaker. In this case. Huh. You can't. Kill me one hit. Sheer cold, that's what I thought. It's like, why are we switching to this thing? We know Ticker. This one, huh? You're fairy and fighting. You actually look really cool. Final gamut. Why would you sack your Pokemon like that? It just doesn't make sense. There's Sylveon versus my <laughs> Nucleon. Alright. Expert Belt, Stab. Let's see if it kills. Well, that kill. Most likely, I'm naive. You're way too many levels higher than me. Oh, I lived. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't want you having quick attack either. So, yep. Matisse. You probably will live this. Matisse has a lot of special defense. Oh, well, I guess not. So you're inside. You are... Yeah, you're definitely gonna die. I can't believe these points are like 10 levels higher than me and somehow I'm winning. We try our hardest in this battle. And that's what counts. What a match. A thrilling display from trainers that Pokemon all like. Tico. Round 3. Pluto versus Hokage. Trainers, prepare your teams for battle and report to the league attendant when you are ready. Alright. Let's lead off. Oops. <laughs> Let's lead off with, um. Not looks long, but uh, S51. Are you ready for the next round? Very well, please proceed in the arena. Hokage, I remember you. We're back with round three in the core finals. Of the, of the 32 trainers that entered the arena today, only only eight remain. These are among the toughest of Tandor, the paragons of our region. I can tell the crowd is loving this. It only gets more intense from here on out, folks. What could it be in store for us this round? Aha! It is the Pluto. We fight before. I lose in disgrace. My ninja clans forsake me, so I train. I train and train, and hopes to encounter Pluto again. 
and that's Lolita. You should fight to regain honor. It will defeat you and restore glory to my ninja crowd. <laughs> no, you won't. Rules of the battle will be as follows. No items may be used other than what the Pokemon are already holding. The battle will continue until either side has no Pokemon left that can fight. Both trains are ready, then battle starts. Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought. Oh wait, that's Brian, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, I was so scared. Wow, that did a lot of damage for a resisted hit. I'm calm, I'm max special defense. Jesus. I resist that too. I know what Pokemon you hold in the back, so I'm going to play my cards right. There's no point in setting up Calm Minds. I know that was a bad move, but the truth is, it's fine. I knew I can live this. And get a little bit of health back from the uh, leftovers. Take some more hits from other Pokemon that I can take on. Switch it to my SP1, go to full HP, the two Hydra Bumps. Hydra Pump, I can live it. Whew. It's a barrel. Um, you're a physical attacker. You're probably gonna go for Crunch, you have strong draws too. That ability is no joke. So, Medlinx, here we come. Jesus! Well, now my defense just blew up, so how much will that do now? Not even. Oh, that did so little comparison to what it first did. That first critical hit, though, was kind of disappointing. I don't want to weaken myself too much. Lux Long can't live two crunches, not based on this damage. Gyarados can though. That could just earthquake him afterwards. I don't think Gyarados is going to be doing too much in this game either. Wait. Actually, I don't even think I can kill him at that range. Let me go ahead and Dragon Dance. I can live two crunches. Unless he gets a crit. Which he doesn't. Fine. Don't lower my accuracy. Well, looks like it didn't matter anyways. Oh There goes my mega. 
I can't believe it. So I just lost my Pokemon for the dumbest reasons known to man. That's cool. You have to hit his Hydra Pokemon, but I miss my Leech Seed, which has a 10% chance of missing. It's gonna have moves like this against Pokemon like you. Oh, you have that move, you say. That sucks. At least I got my health back. I'm gonna wish pass into my second mirror and switch out. That was an odd move. Choice specs Thunderbolt should definitely push your range, bucko. That won't do shit. Not for the wish. That's yeah, a stab thunderbolt. <laughs> I live in that usually. Intimidate means nothing. So we win. As long as, as long as we don't get flinched again. Alright, good. <laughs> Actually, if we did get flinched again, we would have lost this battle. Not strong enough. Once again, I am shown defeat. I, uh, how can I cope with such disgrace to my home village? I return once again. What a match. A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Challenge up. Plo versus Tico. So Tico uses fire type Pokemon, obviously. Oh boy. I do have a chance against them. It's not going to be easy, though. I'm ready. Here we are, round four is the semi finals. Only four trainers remain in the arena. They are Tindor's best and brightest. And now their battling skills will determine which of them get to move on to the champ. And it's an arena. After this match, I can feel the tension crackling in the air. Let's make this bow one to remember. Oh, Pluto! Wait, wait, wait! I said I will do it. <clears throat> wait, hold up. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Oh, Pluto! It's good to see you again. I'll never forget how you rescued me from the the clutches of the second matter in my gym. You dazzle us with your flawless coordinated moves. I can see you have gotten much stronger. But so have I. Can you keep up with our fast footwork, my brother? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> can you keep up with our fast footwork, man? Let our beautiful dance moves set the Serena to flame, man. The rules of battle will be as follows. No items may be used other than what the Pokemon already hold. The battle will continue until either side has some Pokemon left in a confice. If both trainers are ready, then the battle starts. I am not great with impressions. I hope you guys realize that. What to say, brother? <laughs> not brother, is man. It's Jamaica, right? Yes, yeah, let's switch past. <clears throat> he 
he burns me, that's going to cripple me entirely. Oh, okay. That's, that's actually kind of bad. That's a boosted flame door in the sun. Oh, it's gonna do almost half. Great. Water type moves are reduced by half in the sun. Thanks to that Dragon Dance, I'll be doing 30. It's now about 1.5 times less than. Reduct 1.5 out of 50. I'm guessing about 30 something. Uh, so my moves are now re reduced by 30% or something like that. Plus stab and the uh, super effective damage. That's a lot, but it's not. It's not enough. Not that degree. Him setting up that sunny day was a huge factor. That flame bear didn't do much the first time. Even if double the damage, I could still take plenty of them. As long as he doesn't burn or crit me, we're fine. Oh, nope, he's going to crit me. I can't switch out. Uh, there's nothing I can do. That sunny day screwed me. And he has the heat rock on this thing, too. I kind of had a plan of what I was doing. <sighs> Actually, I did. Didn't I? With the sun up, this thing just wrecks everything. I need my Nukulon. And my Gyarados. The Gyarados is my ace in winning this. I have an idea for S51 to use in the future. So my best bet right now is sacking Metalix. Waiting for the sun to go out, switching the Arch Gyarados when the sun does go out. And this turn is only the sun's only up for one more turn. Facing this guy is probably the worst matchup possible. My team is not fully equipped to deal with multiple fire types like this. And that I had no idea he was gonna go for that. Wait, are you choice man? Huh. He's choice man. Are you serious? Got leftovers on my gear. This would be great. So if I miss this attack, I probably may lose. Oh, even after a Dragon Dance, he is faster. Oh, but he didn't kill me one hit. Is he Choice Scarf? Oh, this monstrosity. <laughs> Bella, Bella and Bell. Yandan. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Belia Dawn. That one looks sick. It looks really cool. You screw up when you press the choice band when you had the sun up, bro. I don't know why you didn't go for your sad fire tap fire type attack in the sun. That that would be more ideal. You don't have Petrify on this Chim Chimaconda. Bad move. And you had this thing the entire time. Why do you not switch into this?
Um, hmm. I'm still in a shitty position. Multiple of my Pokemon are weak to fire. And I allowed my Pokemon to get their asses whooped. I can't stop this thing. I may just lose this. Flame impact, flame impact. If it can kill my S51 at that range, my Yukon dies. That's the same. 129, 125, 172 HP, 211. My Nucleon will die. And that Flame Impact is priority. My second is the only pull that can possibly lift this. Kill my second round at that range, there's no way. I lose. So, uh, yeah. I misplayed desperately. I sh let off that sunny day, just screwed me. Most of all, I had no chance at that point. Nothing I can do. Attack, what do you go for? <gasps> what do you do? He just blew the game away. What did he just go for? Simply stunning. This it was. Split the bow with you bow with great finesse and expert. Oh, wait, 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 my bad. You bow with great finesse and expertise. Let us tangle together again some time, my brother. I mean, damn it. <laughs> Polo, congratulations on advancing to the final round. The final battle will take place in the Champions Arena. Its winner will be crowned champion of Tandor. He blew that game away. All he had to do was use Flame Impact. Up next up, champion. <laughs> next champion round. Please take your preparations and seek to be attended when you're ready. I should have lost that, but whatever. That game was completely unfair anyways. Are you ready for your to face your final opponents? Very well. Oh, look at this magma. Plural versus Theo. Oh, he made it to the championship. Finals. Is. Hey, Aplu. I don't look too. You don't look so surprised to see me. I gotta admit, I fully expected to be facing you. You and me battling for the title of champion. In some ways, it feels like destiny. Heh <laughs> That was pretty cheesy. I'll admit. We've been through a lot together. We got our stars at the same time. We battled, but we also teamed up pretty often too. Remember Comet Cave? It feels like it's so long ago. And here we are at the end, Pluto. I gotta be honest, I always was jealous of you. I thought people would treat you different different from me because you were older. That was probably part of it. But you were always more mature too. I think that was what they saw in you. It took a long time for me to learn how to control my emotions like you do. To not run away when I'm afraid. Not to take reckless risk. Just to prove I could. You inspired me. I copied everything you did. Just like, just like when we were kids. You're my idol, my rival. We fought so many times, I even you even saved my life. Hello, because of you, I'm one of the strongest trainers in Tandor. But I finish it but I'm finished with falling behind you. From here on out, I'm going to set my own path. With all of my strength and the trust of my Pokemon, I think I can even beat you, Clue. The rules of the champion round are the same as before. The lines can be used by you, but only your Pokemon themselves. Battle with the two until either side has no couple enough that can fight. Both chains are ready. Whoa. 
Hey, I thought this arena was secure. I mean, I know it's literally on top of an active volcano, but what's going on? Oh, what the? Grow. Th that's a legendary Pokemon. Impossible. Can it be active? That's a nuclear active. What the? Something seems off about it. Plo, doesn't it look like a nuclear Pokemon? Grow. Warning, radiation levels rising? Warning? Yeah, explode. You gotta use your hatcher suit and take these. Obtain nuclear bottles. I'm gonna use my Pokemon to get the people in this arena to safety. Catch that thing and calm it down or something. How did I change it to my suit so quickly? Well, let's go ahead and do it. I should not? No. Alright, guys, I'm gonna save it right here. It's been a long episode. So, we're going to take on Acton next episode. So, stay tuned. Peace.